Hello. Courage to change. 24. Uh, I'm really glad we're doing this. Uh, I love your comments. Uh, please keep it coming. The more activity we have, the better the study is because this is just my opinion, but I want to hear yours. Okay. So May 24th, in the words of Socrates, life contains but two tragedies. One is not to get your heart's desire and the other is to get it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Translation, my will gets me into trouble. I aim for some goal or other, but even when I get it, I am rarely satisfied. It doesn't make my life complete, so I raise the ante, set a new goal, and push even harder. Or I don't get what I want, and I feel inadequate or deprived. Maybe that is why Maybe that is why not one of the 12 steps talks about carrying out my will. The only times I have ever found lasting satisfaction was when I let go of self-will and committed myself to seeking the will of my higher power. Prayer and meditation are two means by which I seek to discover what God's will holds for me, and they help me to gain access to the power to carry that out. Sometimes my hopes and desires are forms of guidance. When I am willing to place God's will above my own, those dreams have a chance of becoming wonderful reality. Today's reminder, the path to my true heart's desire is to surrender to the will of my higher power. Well, I like this reading. I love that quote. You know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, I've looked back, hindsight's twenty twenty, and I'm so grateful I didn't get what I wanted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but the truth is, you know, that's really the truth is it's never enough. It's never right. You know, a lot of people that I help in Al-Anon, you know, they think that if their loved one would just quit drinking and using, everything would be okay. And I try to explain to them, it's, it's just going to be different. It's just going to be, you know, they're going to be doing better, but you might not be doing better. So you have to work on yourself. I don't know if that makes sense to you or not, but it's true. And nothing really satisfies me. I think that might be the human condition. You know, the other day, I, um, it wasn't the other day, maybe the other week. I don't know when it was. Time flies by so fast now. Uh, but I bought a lottery ticket and it was some ridiculous amount of money. You know, I don't know what it was, Mega Millions or the Powerball. Ridiculous amount of money, like $243 million or something. And I was thinking to myself, oh, okay, now if I win that, this is what I'm going to do. And I started like spending it in my head. Like, okay, I'll do this. I'll do this. I'm going to set up my nieces and my nephews and I'm going to set up their kids and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I want to, and all of a sudden I thought to myself, I'm not going to have enough. And I thought, Oh wow, <laughs> you've lost your mind. Right? Like, it doesn't matter if I win a million dollars, I'm really going to need to, you know, and that's kind of the same with everything. I could say I want someone to do this and when they do it, it's like not good enough or I want a new car and then I get it three days later. You know, it's got a little, it's not new anymore. It's got a scratch on it. Now I want something else, you know, and I'm not trying to sound spoiled, but I think it's just always the mind. The grass is always greener on the other side, you know, and, uh, you know, I have to, I have to, um, you know, I have to, I'm looking for the words they used here because it was so good. When I let go of self-will and just do God's will. God's will is fine. There's plenty in that world. When I'm doing God's will, which is usually something for someone else or something in the big picture, something in the positive realm of recovery, everything's fine. It's when I start thinking about what I need and want and what I don't have. That's when things go awry. When I have expectations on other people's actions, um, when people aren't doing what I think they should do, right? Then things go sideways. You know, stage left. I'm, I'm screwed up. You know, if they'd only do this, if they'd only do that, and then they do it and I'm not happy anyway, right? So, uh, you know, I need to stay in the moment, ask God's, God for help and just see where I can add to the stream of life, see if I could be helpful and um in any and all affairs so that's what i got out of this let me know what you got out of it talk to you later